have assessed our encounter with the Netherbrain from every angle, I know why we failed. The problem was not the stones. The problem was you. You can make only one move at a time, but the Netherbrain calculates every possible move at once. It knows what you will do. It knows everything you could possibly do. You cannot outmaneuver it. To defeat it, you would have to think like an anithid. Better yet, be one. Your mind is not capable of this. Mine is. You will give the stones to me. I will assimilate Orpheus, and then I will be able to leave this prism to face the brain. You still don't trust me. After all we've been through, remember, I have been your salvation from the very beginning. Your knight in shining armor. I freed you from the Nautiloid, prevented you from crashing to your death. I have protected you ever since, at no small cost to myself. I came to you as a leader, but I did not shy away from showing you vulnerability. I needed you as much as you needed me. I was not above recognizing this. When you discovered my true identity, I did not flinch from the truth. I never lied to you, not once. I am just like you. We have the same enemy, the same story. I encouraged you to fulfill your potential, all while protecting you from harm. Now I ask you for the last time to trust me. Release the Netherstones to me. I told you we had one solution. You rejected it. I told you I sought only one thing. Freedom. You have denied me this. You have exhausted our alliance, and in so doing, you have ruined us all. I did everything I could to avoid this, but it seems you have whittled my options down to a single one. In order to survive, I must now join the Netherbrain. We can free Orpheus. We'll expect him to be very friendly after an evening of captivity. Never a dull moment. Hope your soul is in good hands. Silent cry pierces your head. It's unlike any sensation you've ever felt. You reek of illithid. You took advantage of my powers. And you slaughtered my honor guard. Nonetheless, it seems we must be allies. You may address me as your majesty. You rejected the Illithid when it no longer suited your needs. No doubt you freed me because it suits you now. I will neither forgive nor forget your abuse of my powers. to surrender yourself to my honor guard. They would have given you a noble end. Any worthy individual destined to become Gake would have done so. My guard would have freed me, and 
and I would have stopped the Elder Brain before it evolved into a Nether Brain. All that suffering... avoidable... were it not for the choices you made! Not so quickly. The Gake was correct about one thing. The Netherbrain's power is beyond us. The hardest metal in the world would not cut through its mind, for it is made of thought itself. At this point, it will take an Elithid to unleash the full potential of the Netherstones. Consider, yes, but know that the answer is already foretold. This is the only way to stop the grand design. Whatever prevents you from doing what is necessary, face it, overcome it. Return to me when you are ready to transform. What's up for discussion? I trust you have weighed your options and reached the only honorable conclusion. Are you ready to transform? It seems I misjudged you. You are capable of sacrifice. The Netherbrain wants nothing more than to see all infected become Gake. My defenses keep the voice of the Absolute out. But just as I can raise them, so I can lower them. I will allow the voice of the Absolute in. Once it reaches you, it will order you to transform. It will only take a moment. And once you are a Mind Flayer, I will fold you under my protection once more. You will be the savior of empires. Not least, my own. With the withdrawal of Orpheus's power, your mind is rushed with the full force of the Netherbrain. You feel a compulsion unlike anything you've ever known. Exciting and exhilarating in equal measure. You wish nothing in the world but to evolve. Then, complete silence, as you are once again closed off from the Nether Brain's mind. My people will remember you. The rebel Illithid who stood beside their reborn prince and ended the grand design. Let us return now to the city and follow the path of the Netherbrain. <laughs>